Captain America Civil War. So we all know what's coming out. Next year, we are getting Cap 3 Civil War. We are getting a whole lot of really cool things. We're getting a, an epic showdown between Iron Man and Captain America. Of course, those are the two main factions in Civil War, as, in, as it is in the comics. And I imagine they're going to keep it the same for the movies. We're getting some new characters. You know, we're getting Black Panther announced in there. But we're also getting Spider-Man. Bum, 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 bum. And this was the big thing. And everybody, after the deal with Sony was made, were they weren't sure how big of a part Spider-Man would play. We all heard that he was going to be in there some way, shape, or form, but nobody quite knew what role he was going to take. Now, if you read the comic strip, I believe uh, in the comic Civil War, what happens is Spider-Man, um, actually, Iron Man is a big mentor of Peter Parker since he was a younger one. And Iron Man, I think, is the, who brought him into the Avengers, made him like a temporary Avenger, and also helped you know train him in a lot of ways of being a superhero as far as the comics go, I don't believe those two met until later on, but when they did, that was kind of the relationship, mentor um, and pupil. So in the comics, we have Spider-Man reluctantly taking the side of Iron Man. You even have Spider-Man revealing his true identity, which was really out of character for Spider-Man. because his Very out of character. Everything he does was about trying to keep himself unknown and so keeping the people he knows and loves out of danger. So... That was kind of a weird thing. Yeah, and also I mean, Tony it's, it's Stark a typical, kind of like bowing down to the government was weird. Yeah, it's a typical. You know what? I guess in uh, in Marvel they don't do it as as it's not as big of an emphasis as in DC to keep the identity hidden because a lot of the Marvel characters like they're just you can see them like the yeah, Fantastic knows, Four. Everyone yeah, knows who they true. are, and everybody knows who Tony Stark, Stark and Iron is, Man yeah. are, and. Captain America, I don't know how much of a guarded seeker that is because probably everybody he knew died after he was frozen yeah. for like 50 years. So. Yeah, and, <laughs> um, and obviously the government knew who he was from the beginning. Yeah. So but. so there, there's those things. And so, you know, in Civil War, they are Iron Man is going pro-registration. Captain America believes that they should have superheroes should have their privacy and shouldn't have their... Uh, identities revealed, so you have the big clash there. But um, after Spider-Man reveals himself in the comics, I believe he has a change of heart and actually joins uh, Captain America's side somewhere in the middle of uh, of all the the happenings that was going on in Civil so War. So he joins the right side, which I would agree with. Yeah, that would be the right. I think everybody kind of took Captain America's side, not 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 Tony Stark's side. Oh, I mean, it, there's there were people that had to take Tony Stark, otherwise it wouldn't be Civil War. It would just yeah. be. The, no, I'm talking Iron about Iron Man versus I'm the talking about universe. Readers. Oh, okay. If you read yeah. the comics, you know, it pretty much was like, okay, we're all on Cap's side. Not I'm sure there's not. someone out there. Someone. Someone watching right now. No, let's Who not. thought that all the the superheroes should be registered. And but the so, mutants should be uh I don't know, what, what whatever they did to the mutants, register the mutants too. Yeah, yeah. that was it was it was kinda like both. It was like what they've been doing to the mutants for a long time, but now it went it extended to all superheroes, so that's kinda what the events were and there. That person that liked that idea, how do you feel about Mein Kampf? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Brendan just said if you were on Tony Stark's side, <laughs> you probably like Hitler. I am. Um, I'm asking a question. Probably, I didn't asking a question. I'm saying he probably how you did. feel about it. If you were to make that statement to Brendan that hey, I like Tony Stark in Captain America in the Civil War, Brendan would say, "Did you also like Hitler?" Yes. Yeah. I, I might do that. Follow up question right there. <laughs> So, but but besides all that, we're getting we're gonna get a pretty cool movie now. It it's kind of I'm curious to see if they're gonna be able to fit all this in because there's apparently Baron Zemo's showing up. He'll be one of the main antagonists. We'll we'll have a lot a lot to do between the battles between these two sides. So there's gonna be a lot happening. And how are they gonna squeeze it all in? Not quite sure. But getting back to Spider-Man's role in this, we've been hearing more and more about Spider-Man becoming a bigger and bigger character. It started out as he was going to do a cameo in the show, in the movie. Maybe towards the end, they'd show him a little bit. You know, maybe just flash by him. Okay, this is a young kid. He has powers. They want him to register or something like that to get into a bigger and bigger and bigger character. And so now the rumors are that we're actually going to see a Captain America versus Spider-Man throwdown fight. Which gets me all tingly inside because I think it would be an awesome fight to see. I think it might be a cool fight to see, but I think this in this movie might be a little early because I mean I, I don't even feel entirely comfortable that they're calling it 
that the first Civil War movie is a Captain America movie rather than a just go into Civil War. Well, I think they're just they were just trying to fit it in there. And Captain America, yeah, he is one of the lead characters of this whole Civil War yeah. thing. So I still think that it should have just been you know its own movie, not a Captain America movie for the first because I they're they're going to do more than just one movie of Civil War, right? So no, I think this is it. Really, this is it. This this is going to be Civil War. This is all I've heard. How of. can they inca- get all? <sighs> didn't I just? I, I didn't think Brennan would be able to derail this conversation, but he did. Didn't I just <laughs> say? That I don't know how they're going to fit it all in. <sighs> no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's one thing to try and fit even the beginning into the the first one, but I thought for sure, like for a long time, that they had been planning to. Like that, they were going to call it Civil War, and then they were going to do a collab movie, like an Avengers movie or something. Um, as far as I know, it'll be Civil War, and then we're going to get like Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel and Black Panther, I, and then they'll do the Avengers Infinity War. So, I feel like that is a bad sign for this movie. No, I, I feel like they're going to be trying to do too much for yeah, this well, one movie. We'll have to see because. Just like they've done with some of the traditional storylines of the other characters, is they switch them up and they do adapt them well. I mean, think about it. Name a, a, I mean, you can name bad Marvel movies, but since when? I mean, they've they've gone, they've had a pretty good track record the past couple of years with releasing good, solid movies, especially these big team up movies. Uh, I mean, Avengers two was awesome. I didn't like it as much as Avengers one, but it was it was really good. So, Iron Man's. You say what you will about two and three, they weren't the greatest, but they were still very entertaining. I, I, don't, I don't see them going wrong with this. And Captain America 2 was one of the best of all, the whole mm. franchise. So I, 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 don't, I don't fear that they're going to steer this movie in the wrong direction. There is a I lot to cover. If they just might called... have to cut some of it out. Yeah, like, we're but not going to see like the if... Fantastic Four parts. We're not going to see anything with Wolverine. He was a big part of the Civil War. We're not going to see Namor the Submariner. I believe he played a part in this whole thing. And, and so they're going to cut out a lot of characters. So... It'll give Which is, again, a, a, a bad sign, though, because they're trying... They do. Just the, the fact that they're trying to wedge it all into a Captain America-focused movie rather than Yeah, but its I'm, own thing. I'm thinking that you're... You, just cause it, when it, Just because it's the title Captain America, I don't necessarily think that that means it's going to be a traditional, like, solo film, mm-hmm. like Captain America 2 was, or Captain America 1, or Iron Man, or any of those. I think they're calling it Captain America just because that was what was up. That was, okay, your turn for your third movie, you know, and All we right, want well, to do this. So, I, hey, you were I just have to say, here you go. We, we better not end up with a 90-minute movie here, because this, this is too, well, yeah, it's gonna be too like much. Two and a half hours, granted. But, but so back to the, the original topic. Yeah, so we're going to see Spider-Man and Captain America throw down. I think that'll be really, really cool. Um, Now, of course, I think we're going to see Captain America come out on top because if you look at where Peter Parker is supposed to be in the timeline so far of the Marvel Universe, is he still in high school? So he's probably just got his powers. He's still getting used to them. He's not the superhero that we all know and love from later iterations. So it looks like we're going to be seeing something where an experienced veteran is going to be kind of whooping up on a rookie a little bit. I just think it'll be really cool, though. Uh, I'm excited about that. But that also leaves the door open for multiple superhero fights. So what other superheroes do you think we, we would see fighting? Or who would you like to see fighting? And now don't go and say you Wolverine versus like Hulk. Because Wolverine's not going to be in this movie. But name two superheroes you'd like to see fighting. Now, of course, I'd like to see Iron Man fight Captain America. Just sounds like a good time. Um, rumors are should that be they, the focus. Yeah, right. well, yeah, exactly. And you know we're gonna see it. You know that's gonna happen. And rumors are that uh, Tony Stark will be getting his bleeding edge armor, which is the armor that kind of like comes out from his skin. So hmm. <laughs> you know, and he has a big sword with that. So that makes sense. Iron Man sword against Captain America's shield. That makes sense. But other ones like, you know, maybe Scarlet Witch. I think she's gonna be joining the the um, Captain America side. I'd, I'd find it cool her fighting a couple secret agents, you know, from Tony Stark's side. I'm sure there's plenty of them there. We have had Crossbones rumored to be in there. Hell, you know, we don't even know if Hulk might show up or not because they've been really, really quiet about all that. But it, it wouldn't be too surprising if we, we got an appearance from the big green guy. But who would you like to see fight? What 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 two would you like to see clash, Vernon? Hulk and Ant-Man. That would be interesting. I'd almost rather see a continuation of Hulk and Thor. But you're right. Ant Man would be a just nice it, twist. Yeah, yeah, because it would be 
it, it would have to be such a creative fight. And actually, mm-hmm. I almost feel like Ant Man might be a good choice to go on the Hulk because the Hulk has to feel threatened to really you know, utilize his powers. And Ant Man would be able to like maybe get in there initially without before he feels threatened. Mm-hmm. So he would, I don't know. But uh, then again, how is he going to hurt? him yeah he probably will he'll probably just annoy him and hulk will get really strong and, and squash him like a bug yeah, yeah but i mean like you could say that about just anyone in that's true <laughs> that is true so so just put him up against the the least likely uh character who has to really utilize it, that, yeah. his and ingenuity I doubt we're actually gonna see t'challa black panther fight anybody i, I bet he's gonna be more of a little in and out character like the nation of Wakanda does not go with this or something like that. You know, that's about all we'll see from him, but it'd be cool if he got into the fighting. And if he did, he'd probably join captain America side. I would imagine. So I'd like to see him to battle somebody. That'd be cool. I'd actually say black Panther versus Spider-Man might be a cooler fight than black, uh, than captain America versus Spider-Man. I don't know. Those two fighting skills just seem more acrobatic and fun, but we'll see what happens. So did you have any two that you'd like to see fight Brennan? Oh, you I said Ant Man Hulk. All right, fine. I wasn't paying attention to you, just like you didn't pay attention to me earlier. Ah, gotcha. I gotcha. But yeah, let us know who would you like to see fight in the new Civil War movie. Do you think the highlight will be Spider Man versus Captain America, or are there going to be other two other that uh, kind of surprise us and we get some joy and satisfaction by seeing them beat the crap out of each other? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep on rolling. Uh-huh.